What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler, and today I've got a sneaker review that's been 88 days in the making. Today, ladies and gentlemen, by persistent request by Raphael Aquino, we are officially reviewing the Birkenstock. Around 88 days ago, and the reason I say around is because I'm pretty sure we lost track somewhere in there, Raphael decided to ask me to do a Birkenstock review. And initially, I just brushed it off because why would I do a Birkenstock review on this channel, which is about hyped up sneakers. And then I realized Birkenstocks are actually one of the most hyped up sneakers of all time. They're one of the best selling sneakers of all time, and I'm stupid not to do this review. That's not the reason. I'm just really hard headed, and he kept commenting, and people kept liking his comments for 88 days, and I was like, I gotta do it. Raphael, you're the man. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and commenting every day for 88 days. I figured today, April 1st, would be the best day to actually drop this review because it's so different from every other review on my channel. So I finally decided to buy a pair of Birkenstocks. Here they are. Uh, and they're sandals. They are, they are cork sandals. So let's just jump into this. The Birkenstock is a sandal and that's pretty much all there is to say about it. Just kidding, this is, this is happening. The Birkenstock sandal started out life as a specialized insole designed in the early 1900s by a man named Mr. Birkenstock. The insoles were specifically designed for arch support and were made up of a mix between cork and silicone. And surprisingly, the shape of the insoles are the exact same shape that you have on Birkenstock sandals today. One of the biggest draws of the Birkenstock is its comfort because over time, this shoe does actually mold to the bottom of your foot and feel like a one-to-one -one fit. And the way that that happens is that the cork and the silicone, when heated up, actually slowly mold around your foot as you wear them. This process takes a couple weeks of consistent wear, and while this process is happening, apparently the shoe is relatively uncomfortable, which isn't great, but I've heard the payoff is amazing because the shoe fits incredibly well afterwards, and you can have the shoe forever because apparently it lasts for years. Now, I gotta be honest, one thing that I didn't realize when I bought this pair of Birkenstocks is that they do fit a full size big, so I bought a size nine, and it's nowhere close to fitting me. Now, unfortunately, I'll never be able to experience this because when I bought this shoe, I did not realize that you wanna buy a whole size down. I bought a size nine, and it just doesn't fit at all. It feels like I'm wearing a boat. In addition to that, the materials used on this sandal are pretty high quality and last a very long time. Not only that, but if you start to wear out your Birkenstocks, you can take them to pretty much any cobbler and they'll repair them for you because they use real materials and this shoe is just so popular. The basic Birkenstock sandal comes in at a retail price of $99, which isn't bad, especially for a sneaker that apparently lasts you years. And you know what's funny? When I initially started researching this review, it was just gonna be a joke, but then when I actually started getting deeper into the Birkenstock and the whole idea behind their shoes, I I really started to respect them and really appreciate what they're doing. Will you ever see me in a pair of Birkenstocks outside of this video? Probably not, but I don't want to rule it out because genuinely it's a pretty interesting sandal. So I guess the only thing left to say is, Raphael, thank you so much for supporting the channel, but you got what you wanted. I'm over it. I'm out. Happy April Fool's Day. Just kidding, man. That was a lot of fun. See you guys later.